To make a form using new Google Forms, you need to go to your drive and click on new. Scroll down to more and then slide over to Google Forms. And this will start the process. So the first thing you need to do is um, title this form. I'm using this to collect digital portfolios. So I'm going to title it digital portfolios. And you can give a description if you like here as well. Now you can also title it up in the top or just click and it will just show up um, very quickly. Um, the first thing I want to do to do my first question is I'm going to click on Untitled Question. I want that question to be my student's name, so I can just change that there. Now it automatically set as to default as multiple choice. I don't want that um, for their name question. So I'm going to click um, on multiple choice on the right and then change it to short answer. I'm also going to make this a required question by clicking this little um, slide button over. Now to do my second question, I'm going to add a question, and this one is going to be All right, so um, I want to make sure, these are very young students who will be filling out this form, I want to be sure that their share settings for their digital portfolio are open that anyone can view, otherwise this isn't going to work. I also don't want it to be a multiple choice question, I want it to be a short answer. And I'll, again, because they're young students, I'm going to do this one extra feature. I'm going to um, click over here on these three dots and click data validation. And I'm going to select, instead of number, I'm going to select text, and it contains a URL. Now in case students put in the wrong URL, um, it will send an error message. And look, I can uh, even customize that error message so that they'll do it again. Now I'm going to make this a um, required question as well. Now you can keep going, you can change, um, you know, uh, add different things, add images, add video, you can add a section and get really fancy, but my form is really quick. Uh, it's for um, a, a project we're doing. At the top, when I'm ready to send this, I want to be sure I have the settings now. Right now, only anyone who is signed into their district account can fill out this form, but if you want to change that, you can click on anyone can respond. And again, check all of these little settings and then click save. When I'm ready to send um, or share this form, I can click on this link button here. And I can either have this long link or I can shorten the link and copy it. and copy like this, and then um, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm not going to actually send it from here. I could do it. There's a variety of ways. If I open this in another tab, and I could paste this in, there's my form ready to go. One last thing I wanted to show you, if you want to make it look a little nicer, you can click on the color palette. You can change any of the colors to it, or you can get some images by clicking on the bottom square. There's tons to choose from, lots of different categories. Uh, so if I wanted to collect, select this one, um, this is what it would look like. Um, you know, just kind of changes it up. The other thing you can do, I just want to point out, you can insert and upload your own photos. So very quick way to make um, forms. When you want to see your responses, you just click on responses. And they'll show here, or you can see them in spreadsheet form right here.